Yossi Samuels, a healthy, smiley baby, received a faulty vaccination at 11 months old that rendered him deaf, blind, and acutely hyperactive. In those dark days, Malki made a promise that if God ever helps Yossi, she will dedicate her life to helping other mothers with their children. And when he had an astounding breakthrough to communication at the age of eight, Malki sat me down and said, it's payback time. I know exactly what I want to do and I need your help. 1990, Shalva began in a small Jerusalem apartment. Six local children with disabilities would come every afternoon. Within a short time, Shalva opened the respite program to support parents in raising their children with disabilities at home. The children were learning independent living skills and their parents, they finally had a chance to catch their breath. Holy Wednesday. Atia and Shira used to sleep in Shalva every Wednesday. And since that day, our life was transformed. We were bursting at the seams and knew there were still so many families that needed help. And so, two years later, Shalva moved into its new home, lovingly named Bet Nachshon. My mother often talks about believing makes miracles happen. You have to believe. Believing in the potential of every child from day one, Shalva began early intervention therapies with the me and my mommy and the daycare programs. They didn't care what we were wearing. They didn't care what our name was and what our religion was. They just took Daniel and they loved him. I was amazed. I never felt so much love before. Meanwhile, Shalva's children were thriving in the afternoon program, discovering and developing their individual abilities. By 2005, the program had grown to include hydrotherapy, art, drama, music and sports. It was during music therapy that our budding musicians' talents were spotted and the first Shalva band was established. Music has always been an important part of Shalva's therapies to empower our children. Beginning to look at abilities rather than disabilities. We once again reached capacity and still there were so many children and families who needed us. And it's 2007 the Jerusalem Municipality, recognizing Shalva's important role in Israel's social services, granted Shalva a seven-acre piece of land, and we set out on the biggest adventure yet, building the National Center. We had to overcome immense challenges, and it is only with the help of dear friends and partners that this dream became a reality. Nine intensive years of planning and building, the Shalva National Center opens with great fanfare, making Shalva the leading center in Israel for children with disabilities, serving some 2,000 children and young adults with disabilities every week. Judo, soccer, swimming, basketball, rehabilitative fitness, music, art, dance, culinary, and oral health care. Not merely a home for our children, Shalva also became an inclusive community center for hundreds of thousands of visitors. And today when we look by and I just went through the charts and see that over 200,000 people came into Shalva in one year to tours, to conventions, to play in the parks, to the cafe. The whole atmosphere is different, it's a great feeling. We feel so privileged to be here as a model, not only for Israel, but for the world. Our children were growing up, 
dreaming of living meaningful lives, and we were going to be there with them and their families. Shelva's adult services was the natural next step. Vocational training, employment opportunities, and independent living in the community. Two thousand nineteen was the year of the Shalva Band. From the moment they stepped onto the public stage, the Shalva Band continues to inspire millions of people around the world with their unique message of hope, inclusion, and achievement despite all odds. I mean, as a mother, I look at the Shalva Bands and I say, "Oh my gosh, the sky is the limit." When I saw the Shalva Band, I was absolutely overwhelmed with emotion because here I saw the realization of a dream of empowering young people to be who they want to be with dignity. Here we are on the biggest stage we can imagine. Don't stop dreaming, no matter what people say. From a program for six children born out of a mother's promise. Shalva has become a national center, providing a holistic continuum of services from birth to adulthood throughout the life cycle. A beacon of hope, creating social change worldwide. And all this in 30 years. I realize something's happening here and it's changing the world.